This is an addendum for those of you who have purchased my calendar seminar for Microsoft Access. As you may or may not have realized, if you're using Access 2010, Microsoft did not ship the Access Calendar Control with Office 2010. If you have 2007 or earlier, you don't need this video. So for the rest of you who are using Access 2010, this will show you how to get around the fact that there is no calendar control in Microsoft Access 2010. You only need it for the date picker form that we make in class. That lets the user select a date by clicking on a little calendar object. Well, in 2010, Microsoft made it so that any text field can pop up a little date picker, making the calendar control obsolete. So again, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set this up. Let's begin by opening up our calendar database. This is the database that I downloaded from my website. Now, the first thing you'll get is an error message. It says the Microsoft Access database or project contains a missing or broken reference to the file mscal.ocx version 7. That is the calendar control object that is shipped with Access 2007 and earlier. So we don't have that if you only have Access 2010. Now, if you installed Access 2010 over 2007, that file is probably still on your machine. That's why for some of you, it works fine if you have Access 2010, because that mscal.ocx file is still on your computer from before, especially if you didn't uninstall Office 2007 before installing 2010. But if you had a clean copy of Windows with no Office on it, and then you installed a new copy of Office 2010, you don't have that file. But the good news is you don't need that file, because Access 2010 allows you to pick a date just by clicking on a date field. So we're going to get rid of it. Click OK. And I'm going to have to click on the Enable Content button because I downloaded this file from my website. So hit Enable Content. Now, to get rid of that reference to the mscal.ocx, come up to Create. And then come over to Visual Basic. This will load up the Visual Basic Editor, this guy. We've seen this before. Come to Tools and then References. And you might get another error message. That's OK. It's the same broken reference message. And you'll see your, your list of references here. Now, right here it says Missing Microsoft Calendar Control 2007. Just uncheck that box and hit OK. And that's all you have to do. Now, if you want, you can close down the editor for right now. We'll come back to it in a few minutes. Now, let's start by opening up the date picker form. It says there is no object in this control because we just got rid of the reference to what we were looking for, the calendar control, which is sitting right here. Okay, so I'm going to right click and go to design view. And again, you might get that error message again. Hit OK, that's fine. Here's the calendar control. It's called calendar. We're just going to delete it. Okay, now the way that this worked before was the user would click on the calendar control and then our code would figure out what the start date was. So for example, if we picked September 15th, it would figure out the first day of the month, and then count backwards to the first Sunday. So we're going to need two date controls in here. We can't just change start date. So I'm going to add another text box in here and call it calendar. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cheat a little bit. So click on this guy, copy, paste, slide it up here. I'm even going to get rid of this label. And if you want to embellish, you can. You can make this thing a little bigger. All right, change the font, make it look pretty. OK, there, no big deal. I added some color. All right, little formatting, little font change, no big deal. This guy, let's double click on it. Let's call this calendar. All right, that'll prevent us from having to change a lot of code too. Calendar. All right, that was what we called the control before. Okay, let's format this guy as a short date. All right, or whatever format you want to give it. Uh, show date picker, make sure that is set to four dates. There's two options in there. There's four dates or never, I like four dates. All right, let's save this now close it, and then reopen it again. Okay? And there's a date in there. 9-6-2011. Today's date. And that's because of the default value property, because I copied and pasted start date, right? Now, look, if I click on this, this guy here pops up right there. All you have to do is click on this date picker, and you can change the date very easily from inside of here. All right, let's say November 
16th. Now when I click on my open calendar form, all the code runs just fine, and it displays November. Why? Because what it does is it backs this up, and it finds the first of November, and then backs it up to the first Sunday. All my code is working perfectly now, and the colors look good. All right, let's close that. Open the calendar report. There it is. All right, close this. Calendar report 2. Okay. So it's really just a matter of replacing the calendar, the date picker control, with a simple text box. Now, you can even add your own little control fields on here, too, if you don't want the user to have to go and use this. You can obviously just change this and then hit the go button, right? Um, or you can put like little plus a month, minus a month buttons on here. Watch this. Design. Um, I'll just do, let's do month, for example, and you can figure the rest of them out. I'll just copy one of these buttons, right? Right in here, right? Plus one month, like this. And you can make little tiny, cool looking buttons, like that, right? Right click, build event, code builder. Okay, and we're down here. Obviously, give the button a good name. Right now, it's just Command-8 click. Okay. And I'll say calendar equals date serial of what? It's going to be year of the calendar, comma, the month of the calendar, plus one, right, comma, the day of the calendar. Okay, and that's all. That's how you add a month. All right, let's save this. Come back over here. I'll close this, reopen it again. And if you want to add a month, just click, 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 right? Adding months. You can make a subtract a month, add a day, subtract a day, add a year. Whatever little tiny buttons you want. Okay? And now we have a quick and simple replacement for the date picker control.